Hi, it's Jamie. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. And I have a huge haul video that I'm going to be doing. Um, more than likely I'm going to split this up into a couple different videos because I have all this stuff here. This bag full of stuff also. And also this little package here. There's a lot of stuff here. Anyway, I kind of want to just visit with you for just a few minutes um, to see how you're doing. I'm doing good. Um, busy. This has been a very, very busy month, but uh, gosh, the last few weeks has been crazy. I don't know about you guys. Um, we went to um, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin for four days to uh, watch my nephew graduate from high school. And also in the process, we moved my husband's brother and my husband's stepmother down from Lake Geneva to here to Oklahoma. And that was crazy because we were supposed to have left on Sunday. We didn't get to end up leaving until Monday afternoon. My brother-in-law had some stuff he still had to do at work on Monday morning. Um, his company... He works some, something to do with the oil company. I don't know, something to do with oil. Anyway, they are moving their company to Mexico. So he had to go in and, and sign his paperwork for his severance package and that type thing. Then he had to go to the courthouse and file his divorce papers. So we didn't get to leave until Monday afternoon at two. And we drove straight through, I mean straight through. We were driving our, um, our one ton dually because we were hauling his or pulling his 30 foot stock trailer back with all of his belongings in it and then he was driving his truck and pulling a, a car his mother's car anyway we drove straight through so we left monday afternoon at two and got home tuesday morning around 6 a.m slept for a few hours got up went to work got everything that we needed to do to get caught up at all the businesses and then Wednesday morning around 6 we left out again for Biloxi Mississippi to go to a gun show that one of our suppliers was pitting on and so they were supposed to have you know a lot of good deals for guns that were you know to buy and just different there would be different vendors there and stuff so we definitely wanted to go to that because our supplier was actually paying for our room for two nights and um, some meals and um, some fuel, paid for some of our fuel. So we went down there on Wednesday, drove straight through again because we had to be there by five on Wednesday evening because that was when the whole thing was supposed to kick off. Got there probably like right at 4.30 so we just barely got there enough time to get checked in, get into our room and then start going to the the show that they were doing. Anyway, left on Friday afternoon around noon and did not get home until Saturday morning around 2. Um, we did drive straight through but we made a lot of stops. We stopped at a lot of antique places and flea markets and things like that and stopped and ate whereas before that trip going down I think we stopped for us to go to the bathroom and get some fuel and that was it because we had a, you know, had a time frame that we had to get down there so needless to say plus we're still moving um, we are getting ready to start moving the garages all the stuff in the garages and the barn and then once that's done we'll be completely moved out of our house and Porter and we'll be able to put it on the market we were supposed to be closing on a house the day before we left to go to Wisconsin for my brother-in-law and his mom and um, they called us the day before. We were supposed to do that the Monday that we came back. And there was something wrong with the title. Uh, so that's been pushed back until July. So now the whole purpose of them coming down and us getting a house is we were gonna have a place for them to live. So now they're having to live in our travel trailer, which we didn't have it ready because we didn't find out that we weren't gonna close on this house until the day before we left to go up north to Wisconsin. So that put us in a bind. 
It's just been crazy. We're um, one of our businesses. We're getting ready to expand, and so we're buying a place, a bigger building, and we were supposed to close on it already, and that's been pushed back, and that's kind of putting us behind because it had with it a barn that we were going to put all of our stuff in from the Porter House, so it's going to have to go to a storage yard for now before it gets moved to this other place. Anyway, whew, yeah. I'm tired. I know our trip to Biloxi there and back, we went like 1,300 miles. That was a lot of miles. I drove it. My husband drove the trip to Wisconsin because we were driving his big truck and it was pouring rain when we went down or so we would have drove straight through. But because it was pouring rain the whole time we were in the big truck, we ended up staying, stopping around midnight, I think it was, and we stayed in McLean, McLean Illinois for the night before driving all the way into Wisconsin to Lake Geneva. Plus, it was freezing in Wisconsin that weekend. Oh my gosh, it was so cold. Um, that Saturday when we got in, it was raining. We were supposed to load. Couldn't do anything because of the rain. And then the next day, thank goodness it was nice and sunny because the graduation was outside at the football field, but it was so cold. That wind... Oh, and of course, you know, I didn't bring anything other than summer clothes. And I was just about to freeze my tiny off. It was so cold, but at least it was a nice sunny day. So we got stuff loaded in that afternoon. And I had a cookout. So, I mean, we were outside all day in that wind and that cold. Oh, I was glad to get home, back home to Oklahoma where it's humid and warm. <laughs> Never thought I would ever say I would want to be here where it's humid, but... I was ready for some warm weather. Anyway, I have a lot of stuff here. I have stuff from Marshalls, um, from Ulta, from Sephora, from Dillard's, from Nordstrom, from Avon, from Bobby ba Bobby Baum, Bobby Brown, um, Stila. Did I stay, say Stila yet? Um, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff. Um, Deli and Tools. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna start with the things that I got at Marshalls first because it is the um, the skincare that I bought, and we'll get started with it, and we'll see how I'm doing on time, and because I know I'm gonna have to break this up into a couple different videos because this is crazy how much stuff here. I just keep accumulating it. I was wanting to film, you know, every day. I thought I'm gonna film today and didn't do it anyway so let's get started um i did get some sheet mask because as you know if you watch my channel i do love to mask which i haven't been doing as much masking with all the travel that we've been doing and everything being kind of chaotic and i sure can tell with my skin especially here around my eyes they're so puffy and i just i never realized how much those sheet masks were actually helping in this area until I haven't actually been doing them. I think this month I've only done maybe three the most and that's just unusual for me because usually I do like three a week. Anyway, so I got the Selkin, it's called Selkin, Fermi battery died. Now I'm dropping stuff. So I was getting ready to show you the things that I purchased at Marshall's and my lighting's weird. I tell you what, the sun is setting. There's a window right here, and the sun is set. Blah, 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 and the sun is setting. And I have pink curtains. <laughs> and um, I have that curtain, and then I have a pink sheer curtain hanging up in the window here, so the sun shines through, and it makes everything kind of like a pink glow in here. <laughs> Not the best time of day, I don't guess, to film but anyway it's all right let me get situated again I've had a crazy afternoon we have been unloading a trailer full of stuff from the house and I'm surprised I have any makeup still intact mm, not too bad I could put some new lipstick on but that's it I didn't do anything else so we're just gonna go with it because I want to show you guys the stuff that I got from Marshall's after I pick that up excuse me Okay, so I got some skincare, and I think I left off. I was talking about my mask 
Then I got, I got the Selkin Firming Lift Sheet Mask, which I've probably already told you that. There's six sheets in here, and these were $4.99. They look like this here. I have not tried this brand before. It's a Firming Lift Sheet Mask. A little package like that. So we'll be giving that a go. I'll drop that on the floor. Then I got the Spa Life Forever Luminous Facial Mask. And I wanted to get this because it has um, goat's milk and Mediterranean olive oil. Now I have used um, this brand before, the Spa Life. And I do like this brand. There are three sheet masks in here. And they look like this little guy right there. Can you see that little guy? That's what they look like there. And they were um, $3.99. So I got that one. And then another in the Spa Life Hydrating Facial Mask. And this has coconut and shea butter. That looks really, really nice. And this is the same. It's um, three sheets for $3.99. So, yes. Yeah, put my stuff. Anyway, Selkin Hydrating Sheet Mask. That was like the other ones, the Firming this brand here and there are um, six masks and it was $4.99 for those so hmm so these are the hydrating one hmm 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 which ones am I going to use first I don't know okay oh I have some more masks <laughs> yeah I like masks I do and this look at this big old thing look this is um, the Spa Life Anti-Aging Gold Facial Wrap Collagen and Elastin Beauty Mask. Hydrates and tones, helps turn around dull and even skin, locks in moisture for 24 hours. Look how, I mean these are huge. There are three masks and they were $5.99. But I couldn't pass them up because they're just, they're huge. Okay, look at that right there. Look, they're gold. Huh? So the light ones. Yeah, that's going to be scary. So I got those. And then let me show you this other thing that I dropped. Hang on. This is called the Kiss My Grits Lip Scrub. And I do not know what brand this is from. Oh, wait. Cilicia, Cilicia, made in Savannah, Georgia. Um, there's a website right, right there. There's a website. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, this is a lip scrub, and it was $7.99 compared to $13. And I went to use this the other night. And I wish I would have opened it just, just to check it to make sure that it was still sealed. Because it was not sealed. This little seal right here was open and my little scrub is kind of all dried out. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to use that because it was opened. So I don't know if someone, you don't know what someone's done to this little pot of stuff. So I'm not going to use that. And I wish I would have opened it and checked it before. I brought it home, but I didn't. That was um, buyer's error right there. But anyway, so I did get that. Just don't get to try it. And then, I don't know what my deal was that day. My eyes must have been puffy or tired or thought I looked bad or something because I got all kinds of eye stuff. Yeah. Anyway, it's half of it. I never even heard of any of this. But this is the... Lemurats Anti-Aging Vitamin C Eye Lift Serum. Right there. And this is supposed to promote firm and lifted eye area, brighten and restores luminosity, and hydrates and helps smooth fine lines. I need all of that. I need all of that, plus a deep puffing agent. Anyway, this was $5.99. And it's supposed to have vitamin C and fruit extracts and hyaluronic acid. So, I don't know. I've not, not tried it. I don't know. And then I got this little guy. 
This is the MediSkin Anti-Aging Vitamin C Beauty Oil. I guess this is a, for the eyes, but it's a beauty oil. Um, repairs and rejuvenates skin, brightens and improves skin tone, and maintains a youthful appearance. Hmm. Yeah, I need some youthfulness. Oh, it has uh, rose hips in it. That's why I got it, because it has rose hips in it. It has vitamin C, avocado, and rose hips. Anyway, and that was from MediSkin. MediSkin. And this was $5.99 on that. Then I have this here, which is a rose hip seed oil. And it's a serum. It's antioxidant facial treatment. I thought almost everything I got was for eyes, but I guess not. Um, uh, so says you're supposed to use every day, blah, blah, blah. Does it say anything else about it? Uh, rich in vitamins A and C, as well as omega-6 essential fatty acids. Uh, Rosehip seed oil offers antioxidant protection and may be used not only to promote moisture levels, but also to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So that was this here. And this was $9.99. I don't know what this smells like. I mean, I haven't even opened any of this. And I bought this probably like a month ago. Mmm. That smells good. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells like roses. Mm. Then I have this little guy here. This is the Hyaluronic Eye Lift Serum. Oh. That has a manu manu manufacturer's suggested retail price of $55. But, I figured, you know, it's hyaluronic acid, which is supposed to be very moisturizing. Um, this is from Dermaputics brand. This was $9.99. And it says back here on the back, why pay $500 to $700 a vial for Restylane? Rest rest How do you say that? This word right here. How do you say that? I don't know. Never even heard of it. Apparently, it's expensive. Um, it's a topical hyaluronic acid with MDI complex lift serum. Firms, lifts, and smooths. So, we have that to try. This is the little part of it right there. Okay. Then I have the Lanolin Manuka Honey Intensive Eye Serum with Chamomile and Manuka Honey. I've heard a lot of people talk about the Manuka Honey. That's supposed to be really a good antioxidant also. Um, let's see if it says, oh wait, this reduces puffiness and revives tired eyes. I'm going to start using this tonight, definitely. And this is made in New Zealand. Anyway, this was on clearance for $6. The regular price at Marshall's was $7.99. So, anyway, that's what it looks like right there. Let's open it up and see what it smells like. Oh, so I didn't even open any of this. It has a little um, a pump. That's good. It's kind of like a gel, a gel type finish. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think it has a smell to it. I think what I'm smelling is my um, my lipstick that I have on, which is a, a Tarte Lip Surgeons. But yeah, that feels really good. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to start using this little guy tonight. Because my eyes are like really puffy. Look at that. Which I know part of it's allergies too, so help that. Let me see. Okay, we'll do the Avon items next. Now, I did get a perfume. This is the <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Amore? Is it Amore? I think it is. Anyways, today, tomorrow, always. I think it's Amore. I can't hardly read that. The writing. Anyway, I ordered this, and this is supposed to have citrus, jasmine petals, and musk. 
that blooms like pure love. Yeah. I'm not going to try and describe the notes to it, but here's what the bottle looks like. It's a really pretty bottle, but I did order that. I haven't worn it yet. I don't know. Anyway, I got that. The next thing I ordered from Avon is this little, what is this? This is the blush, the Ideal Luminous Blush in um, Candlelight. And this is a new color that they've come out with. I thought that was really pretty. My camera lights are washing it out. Air conditioner is coming on now. This is just so pretty. It's a really pretty color. Gosh, you can't see it. It's my light. One of these days I'll be rich and famous and be able to get a ring light. It's that right there. Look how shiny my hand is from that eye cream. <laughs> it does brighten. So anyway, I did get that and then I ordered a eyeshadow duo in the True Color Candied Violets. And they're just their um, normal black packaging. This is the eyeshadow duo. This was a new color also that they came out with. Put that there. And there's the colors. Those are pretty. Got that. And then this was another new one. This is the true color, the um, quad, the eyeshadow quad. This is a new um, eyeshadow quad that Avon came out with, a new color combination. This is called Warm Sunrise. This is really pretty, and I thought this would be really pretty with the blush that I ordered and I got. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I can't wait to wear that. Oh, and I didn't get a wipe. I'll wipe this off of my jeans. They'll wash. Maybe. Look at those colors. Aren't those pretty? Let's see. Let's watch them right there. Whoa, did you see how that went? That looks awesome. <gasps> Can't wait to wear that. I'm gonna wear that tomorrow. Wear that tomorrow. Okay, last item. And this is the Dior Skin New Tan from the Dye Edition. And this is a blush that I got. <sighs> they had two. One was a peach color. And one was um, the pink color, and I got the pink, the pink color, which is called, what is this called, um, Pink Sunrise. And here's the packaging, it comes with a little kabuki brush, which I haven't used any of this. It's just been sitting in the bag. Oh, it also has this little um, velvet pouch that you can put your little compact in right here. And it says um, it's embossed with the CD for Christian Dior. So that's kind of fancy. Fancy, smancy. And then here's the little packaging. And this is what it looks like right there. Isn't that pretty? And I, I've heard that this is not just like an overspray that the colors like this go all the way down, all the way through. Oh cool, look, it has a mirror. I mean, it's mirrored on the back too. There's a mirror there too. Cool. Oh, I don't want to swatch it. It's so pretty. Okay, here we go. Oh, messed it up. Anyway, that's what it looks like right there. <laughs> you know what? Oh, are you going to be kidding me? Okay, no. I was like getting ready to say it's almost like the Avon one, but this is more pink, or the other one's more peach. <laughs> yeah. Well, can you see it? There's the pink and there's the Avon. Can't see it. Darn it. What the heck? My whole thing is like spinning around. The little thing's not in there tight. That's a bummer. Okay, there you go. Now you can see it. That's pretty. That's pretty though. Aren't you Anyway, okay. Um, 
I think I'm going to stop for now and we'll do the rest in another video. So stay tuned for that. That one's going to be Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown tart and some stuff that I got. Bobby Brown tart Stila. I'm trying to see why it's in my bag. I don't even remember what's in there. Okay, that, that was it. That was it. Those three things. Yeah. And the CCO. <laughs> I knew there was something else in there. Anyway, whatever. So thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you want. You don't have to. But it would be fun if you did. Make some comments. I'll try to get back to you. I'm, I'm probably the world's worst YouTuber ever but that I don't get back on comments until two days or three days or a week later. Anyway. Oh, guess what? I got, I got one little announcement to make. My daughter found out today that she's expecting again, so grandson turns three in July and then the new baby will be here end of December, I think. So yeah, I'm going to be a grandma again. Yay! Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe. Talk to you later.